Hey, Zian Rule here. What's going on, guys? I'm bringing you guys another Battlefield 3 commentary. I'm using the F2000 Donya Fortress. So, as I'm sure you guys noticed, I went a long time without commentating. I just put up one the other day, but I guess this is kind of a commentary to tell you where I've been and just other things that are going on. Well, so, as you know, I'm in Japan, in the army, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you know, I have all this army stuff to deal with, which, you know, I do, but I still have time to play and make commentaries if I, if the time calls for it, but recently, you know, I mean, my mother came into town and she wanted to, you know, hang out and see me, my daughter, my wife, whatever. So, uh, oh, excuse me. So, you know, that was, uh, she was here for about two weeks. And then on that, um, you know, me and my wife were planning on a vacation, we're planning on a vacation to go to, uh, to go visit family in New York and Maine. So, you know, we've been planning that, and actually we're going to be going in September now, so. Uh, oh, wow. I'm really gassy. But, uh, so we've been planning that, and we'll be going in September, so, <laughs> He'll be kind of without me again for another, you know, three or four weeks. Yeah, I know. I'm sure you guys will miss me so much. I'm going to try and uh, try and bring my computer, bring my laptop or whatever. and I might be able to get up maybe one or two or a week while I'm there just so I can do something. Just get in a couple gameplays and put it on my hard drive and take it with me. But we'll see. Either way, um... So I've also been reading it a little bit into uh, Armored Kill, you know, heard about the, you know, the AC-130 and all that shit, but honestly, I don't know if this is the, the Call of Duty player in me coming out, but I'm really, you know, I'm okay, you know, it sounds, yeah, it sounds pretty cool and whatnot, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm so excited. I I'm more excited for the new weapons. Um... You know, that's, to me, that sounds like it's going to be, I, I don't want to say that it's more exciting, but it's definitely more exciting to me, if that makes any sense. But, I don't know, that's just, that's just what I think, so... You, you know you're going to be sitting here and like... The and I, you know, obviously, you know, I've seen the trailer and it's, you know, it's it looks really cool, but and one thing, you know, everyone's been saying is like, oh, snow maps, and because the trailer has, you know, the the tropical looking map or whatever. I'm sitting here and I'm like, I more excited for the for the weapons. I'm not gonna lie, it's just that's just what makes me want to play, you know, I mean, yeah, the maps are nice, but I can sit here and play on most maps and be perfectly okay, it doesn't really matter to me, so, you know, but obviously, I don't know, I'm sure this is not going to be any new news to you, but, you know, you have the, you know, all-out vehicle warfare, you know, the four huge new maps, it's the one of them is the biggest map in Battlefield ever. You have the five new vehicles, the AC-130, the tank superiority game mode. Um, you know, five new assignments, whatever. But you know, it's it's whatever. You know, it says they're only going to have five new weapons. But that's okay to me. I'm not upset about that. I would have liked there to be more, but it's not going to... I'm not going to cry over it. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm sure, you know, you'll be hearing a lot more throughout the... You know, throughout the next month until Armored Kill comes out from 
not just me, but everybody in the Battlefield community about, hey, this is what's happening with Armor Kill, you know. I don't think that it's going to be bad, but I don't think it'll get... Well, I could be completely wrong here, but a lot of the new Battlefielders, like myself, are more into the, you know, the close quarters gameplay and especially the ones on console. I know a lot of y'all are like, oh, only real Battlefielders play on PC and yeah, well, that's fine. Um, but I just sit here and I'm like, okay, you know, I like Battlefield and I like being able to jump in and just play. Which, I know you're like, oh, then you should be playing Call of Duty, but I don't like playing Call of Duty. It annoys the fuck out of me. So, since that's the case, I like playing this kind of close quarters-esque, whether it be not just, you know, the close quarters maps, but, you know, Op Metro, Sin, Grand Bazaar, stuff like that. Because that's just me. That's, that's what I like. But I still like the feel of Battlefield better than the feel of Call of Duty. And I know a lot of y'all are going to crucify me for even mentioning Call of Duty, even though I'm saying it sucks. But <sighs> that's, that's, that's enough of my rant about that. So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about, I don't know, the Olympics. Honestly... I have not paid too much attention to the Olympics. It, it's, it's not that I'm not interested in sports. I'm, I love sports. It's just over here, the times that you can watch the Olympics is really weird, and especially when it comes to work and. Trying to, you know, exercise and all this other shit that I have to do. Plus gaming and getting content. It's kind of difficult. I'm not, you know, this isn't a sympathy fucking video, but... Just want to let you know. But I've heard, I've heard good things. I've heard bad things, too. I'm not exactly sure where the U.S. stands right now as far as medal count. I'm sure... I'm pretty sure we're, like third or second somewhere around there and I heard something going on about about the opening ceremonies and how they were really good I've heard some people say they were really good and I've heard some people say they were it was okay some people said it was bad I didn't see them so I guess I don't really have a good frame of reference but whatever um anyway so also I don't know if it's just me or if everyone if there's a lot of people that are losing interest in the Olympics. So uh why don't you just leave that down in the comments below and say, hey, do you you guys excited about the Olympics or not? Um so that's about it for this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh remember to like and favorite the video and subscribe if you want to see more and uh thanks for watching guys.